Before we discuss the specifics of MLA documentation style, we should address first the question of what a citation actually is, and second, the reason that citations are so important. It's been my experience that one of the reasons students struggle so much with citations is that they never learned or were never taught the reasons that citations are so important. To begin with, a citation is simply a bit of information you provide in an essay that tells your audience where you found the information you're using. Anytime you take information from somewhere else, a book, a magazine article, a movie, a song, an interview, you must tell your audience where you found it. Failure to do so constitutes what we call plagiarism, and that's an issue that we'll discuss in greater detail a little later. The citation does two important things. It gives your audience all the information they need to find the source material themselves if they want to, and it gives the original author credit for the information. We have a number of ways to cite information, and a bit later we'll be learning one particular way of doing so, MLA documentation style. But before we get into those details, we need to discuss the reasons that citations are so important. First, as we already mentioned, citations protect you from plagiarism. This is a very real very practical concern because, let's face it, no one wants to get in trouble. And again, we'll discuss plagiarism in greater detail later. The second reason that citations are so important is that they give the author credit for his or her work. Journalists, scientists, artists, and all the other people who compile and pass along information in this way typically work very hard, and we should acknowledge the fact that we are benefiting from the work that they've done. Third, proper, accurate citations acknowledge the fact that the information is the intellectual property of the writer or artist. Different cultures have different views of intellectual property, and those views have also changed over time. But the general consensus in the 21st century is that the creation of source material, and again, this could be a magazine article, a song, a poem, um, is the same as the invention of anything else just like a new type of smartphone, and it's subject to the same rights on the part of the owner. Just like we wouldn't use new smartphone technology without purchasing it, or at least without getting permission, we can't use information that is someone else's intellectual property without at least giving him or her credit for it. The fourth reason that citations are so important is that they give your own research credibility. Citations demonstrate to your audience that you've taken the time to learn as much as possible about the topic before you began to write about it. Fifth, and finally, citations give your audience all the information they need to find the source material themselves. Perhaps they want to double check your research and just ensure that you're being honest and earnest. There's nothing wrong with that. Or perhaps your writing was so good that it made them interested enough in the topic that they want to dig into it more deeply themselves and learn more about it. Either way, good, accurate citations provide them with all the information they need to do so. And with those fundamental concepts in place, we're probably ready to begin an introduction to MLA documentation style.